going to get started with lashings here. Uh, in my book, lashings start on page 371. Uh, we're going to be doing a square lashing, a diagonal lashing, and a tripod lashing. Uh, these are the ones that I use the most. Um, there are other ones in here, so if you guys ever take a uh, pioneering merit badge, uh, you'll learn a lot about lashings. Uh, it's always good to uh, review these, uh, everything that's in your book. So. Uh, to get started, every lashing is going to start about the same. We start with a clove hitch. So I showed you guys how to do that here just in a, a previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. So you'll start this, uh, if you're doing two cross pieces like this, you'll do your clove hitch right about where the junction would be, right below the other stick. Um, so make that nice and tight. And then before we start our main weaves here, you take your uh, take your small end here and just wrap it around your long end, and that keeps that down nice and tight. So I go once around the diagonal to get it started with that loose end, and then you're going to wrap. It's just a, a weave. You're going to wrap three times around each one. So, you're going to go over your cross piece, underneath the, uh, the upright, back over your cross piece, and underneath your other upright. And that's one wrap. And you do that three times. So, it's just an over-under. So, over the cross piece, under the upright, over the cross piece, under the upright, over, under, over under. That's three wraps. Make them nice and tight and nice and close together. So you can see there I got three wraps. You can see it on the back side as well. Three wraps. One diagonal from when I started with the wrap and the loose end. And then to tighten everything up even more securely I'm gonna go around the center a couple of times here. So just wrapping around all my other lashings right around the middle. And then you will finish off with another clove hitch. My rope is nice and long here, so I have plenty of excess. Alright, tie your clove hitch nice and tight, scoot it up against your lashings. And then you can finish off with a couple of half hitches if you want, just to keep everything more secure. So to do half inch when you're other, uh, make a loop and pass your loop over the end, making sure that your uh, long end is underneath. And you can do that a couple of times. There you go, nice and secure. Square lashing. Alright, I'm going to undo all this and we're going to do a diagonal lashing. Alright, so for the diagonal lashing, uh, this one actually, instead of starting off with a clove hitch, this one's just going to start off with a timber hitch. So we just uh, can cheat a little bit here. Wrap my ends around, wrap my loop around for the timber hitch. Pass this end through. And then I'll stick my sticks in, but otherwise you can do it the way I showed you in the earlier video. But pull this all nice and tight. There's my timber hitch. I'm going to tuck my end in there just so it stays out of the way. So for this one, instead of weaving over and under, over and under, we're just going to do three wraps just around the, the X here. Lay the Lay the cord nice and tight and lay it up against itself. Of course, you're doing this, you'd be doing it on bigger sticks, so it's a little unwieldy to do on a tabletop, but with some short sticks. So you do it three wraps that way, and then you turn around and go three wraps around the other side of your X, or the other intersection here. Three wraps, keep everything nice and tight. Let me show you what it looks like so far. So I go. I went three wraps from here to here, 
three wraps from here to here and then you go in between your sticks just like we did before and make a couple of wraps just around your rope keeps everything nice and tight right in between there you can see where my rope is and then again we'll stop this with a, another clove hitch just like we did before and then push that up against your uh, lashings pull it nice and tight and again you can add a couple of half hitches but that's the diagonal lashing that one's pretty simple so we're gonna unwrap this real quick move on to a tripod all right for the tripod we're gonna start with a clove hitch again that nice and tight the reason we use clove hitch is because once it's nice and tight it won't spin around your your round sticks so you can see there I can give that quite a bit of effort and it doesn't spin so for a tripod again we're just weaving so under the middle around the end and then we're gonna go maybe you can see it better this way there you go under the middle over the end and then we go over the top of the middle and turn around and go around the end and then back so again, it's under, over, under, over. Over the one on the end. Go around. Go in between and go over the middle. Go under the end. Come around. Go under the middle. And we do that for three wraps. Keeping everything nice and tight and keeping your ropes as close to themselves, as close to each other as you can. And then to tighten everything up, we're going to go two wraps around the ropes in the middle here. Two wraps. Two wraps here. Tighten everything down. Again, we'll end everything with a clove hitch and a couple of half hitches. Nice and tight. And then there, you have your tripod. Spread everything out nice and even here. There's your tripod. All right. If you guys have any questions about lashings, uh, consult your book here. There's some pretty good diagrams. Some pretty difficult to see exactly which direction I'm wrapping everything whenever um, on camera here. So this shows you a better. This will show you a, um, some pictures of, of the directions I'm wrapping. So if you guys follow along with those as you're watching me do it and kind of pause and look and practice and um, you can just do what I did here. I just you know cut up a couple short pieces to practice with and uh, paracord works really good for that you never have too much paracord uh, there's one more lashing I'm going to show you let me untie all this and I'll be right back I'm not sure if this qualifies as a lashing and it's not in your scout book but this is one I've learned over the years uh, you just turn and make an overhand knot like that and then you'll pass the other end of your rope through that overhand knot. See, now I have a, a loop I created here by passing it through my overhand knot. I'm going to tighten up that overhand knot. This is just the simplest uh, little slip knot that, they, that you can make. It's just an overhand knot. But I use this one a lot if I'm like... Um, say trying to roll up a sleeping bag and keep it rolled up because you can really tug on this one get it nice and tight and it'll hold and then you take your other end and you can loosen it back up so that's a really quick and kind of a quick and easy lashing that uh, if you're just needing to hold say a bundle of sticks together that you're carrying back to the campsite just like that and then when you're ready for it to loosen up just tug your, tug your short end. So, all right. Uh, hopefully, you guys can understand all that. I guess um, it's not always easy to convey all of these concepts through the camera. So, follow along in your book.
um, and lots of practice, and uh, appreciate you guys tuning in.